Now, as we all know, in Major League Baseball, there are many players who suffer injuries, and it can be seriously hard for a team to perform well or even win it all if one of their stars are down in the playoffs. But there are some players who have had the guts to play in a playoff game while being ill, while injured, and it is honestly so incredible how they played while being injured. So, who were these players that played through rough injuries, still managed to perform well, and what was the injury that they played through? How is everybody doing today? It's Portola back with another video. Today, I'll be talking about MLB players who played through rough injuries in the playoffs. Let's not waste any time, and let's get straight into it. The first player we are starting off with is Steven Strasburg. Now, in the year 2017, Strasburg was really in the center of his prime. Winning 15 games, only 4 losses, and having a 2.52 ERA is very impressive. But there was a problem for Strasburg in the playoffs. In the NLDS, the Nationals were going off against the Chicago Cubs, who just came off the previous season winning a World Series. The Nationals were down 2-1 in the series. And let me remind you that in order to move on to the NLCS, you need at least three wins. And the Cubs were one win away. On October 11th, 2017, which was the day that Strasburg was scheduled to pitch, he felt super ill, to the point where he had flu symptoms. And it looked like Strasburg might have needed the day off. But he decided to play through his illness. And despite having flu symptoms, he managed to go seven innings and striking out 12 players, and he only gave up three hits. Thanks to his miraculous performance, the Nationals would go on and force a game five, but sadly lost and were eliminated. But it was extremely entertaining and incredible to watch Strasburg pitch while being so ill and managed to put up all-star type of stats in the playoffs. Not like he wasn't when healthy, but it's just more pressure for him and he handled the pressure extremely well. Next man on the list is Kyle Schwarber. Back in 2016, when he played for the Chicago Cubs, they were on a roll and were easily favorites to win it all. But Schwarber barely played in 2016, and that was because in the second game of the season, Schwarber got into a collision with Dexter Fowler, and he ended up tearing his ACL and LCL in his left knee, and that would cause him to miss the rest of the season. And Schwarber was normally supposed to miss the playoffs as well and would be back in the spring. But surprisingly, Schwarber's recovery didn't last as long as a lot of us thought it would, and he would end up being the DH during Game 1 of the World Series, where he doubled. He ended up having a total of 7 hits in the World Series, 3 of them in Game 7, and he was one of the reasons why the Cubs ended their drought and curse of failing to win a World Series. Schwarber did something that not a lot of baseball players can do, not even some of sports' biggest names could do something like this, but he did and helped out his team a ton after suffering injuries that should have kept him out way longer than usual. Now, this next guy had a sickness that was so bad, his wife literally said this was the sickest I've ever seen him in 22 years, and that is Jamie Moyer. Now, I don't know if you guys know Moyer that well, but this guy lasted in the league for 25 years. He started his career in 1986 and finished in 2012. Can you believe that? Anyways, let's go to the year 2008. He was 45 years old that season and was still putting up relatively good stats. He had 16 wins, 7 losses, and had a 3.71 ERA, which isn't bad at all, but stuff got serious in the World Series for him. He was scheduled to pitch in Game 3, but he had a severe stomach virus, which made his wife, like I said earlier, mention how she has never seen her husband this sick in 22 years, so you know it's bad. But did Moyer sit out? No. He still pitched and went 6 innings and gave up 3 runs. Luckily, the bullpen and offense had his back, and the Phillies would go on to win the World Series. Truly amazing how Moyer pitched while being extremely sick. Now, this performance was decent, but it was still good enough to help his team win the game. 
Now, this next one is probably the most iconic out of all of these, and that was when Kurt Schilling pitched in a key playoff game while having a bloody sock. Let me explain to you the story. In 2004, Schilling had one of the best years of his MLB career. He put up Young Award stats at 37 years old. After the Red Sox went 98-64 and during the regular season, it was time for them to push their way into the World Series, and they were going up against their rival, the New York Yankees. The Red Sox were down 3-0 in the series, but after winning Game 4 and Game 5, it seemed like the Red Sox had a slight chance at pulling off one of the greatest comebacks in sports. Kurt Schilling was pitching in Game 6, but one thing you may not know is that Schilling pitched that whole game while having a torn tendon sheath, and him pitching with this injury caused for his ankle to start bleeding. But after pitching 7 innings, giving up only 1 run and 4 hits, the Red Sox would win the game and go on to win in Game 7, and then go on to defeat the St. Louis Cardinals in the World Series to end their drought of not winning one. Truly a magical and entertaining run for the Red Sox, and let's just say that if Schilling didn't pitch that day, they probably would not have forced a Game 7. Now, this last one is another one that is pretty iconic. I'm talking about Kirk Gibson. In 1988, Gibson ended up winning MVP after putting up strong stats, and his team, the Los Angeles Dodgers, ended up going 94-67 and that season. The Dodgers were facing the Oakland A's in the World Series, but there was a problem that occurred. Gibson injured his left and right hamstrings in the NLCS, and him being injured caused people to believe that the A's would win this one. In Game 1, the Dodgers were down by 1 in the bottom of the ninth, with the runner on first with 2 men out. What they needed was a clutch hitter to step up to the plate and send the fans home happy. And that's where Kirk Gibson stepped in while having both of his hamstrings injured, going up against Dennis Eckersley, Gibson would hit a two-run home run to walk it off in LA. And not only did the Dodgers win game one in style, but they went on to beat the odds and win it all. Honestly, it doesn't get any cooler than that. Gibson was a man of steel to have done something like this. Unreal and great job by him to help his team win the game and go on to win the World Series while being injured.